the hinge is locked up there. I had designed that to uh, be free moving. And that's this little part right there. That was that stainless steel pipe. And if you can see it, I can unlock it or lock it. So right now it's locked. Right now it's partially unlocked. I used a piece of lead just to make that heavy so it would fall down. Now the hinge is secure so wind isn't going to blow it. And of course we've got these lines here to help stabilize the mast in wind. This is a, I think it's a two inch, two and a half inch, three inch square box tubing I made this out of. It's either that or three inch, three and a half and four inches. So there you go, a uh, little contrail up there. In any case, now I'm gonna elevate the thing and make sure that all these cables here play out and uh, don't get snagged on the, the lock. This right here is the, the mast lock. There's a hole in the inner shaft and when I go up a certain level, the spring-loaded pin drops in to anchor it so that the mast can't just drop if the cable breaks. At least that's what the design is. And you can see the 442 meter Yagi up here. Um, this is the open end of the hex. So this is the back side and the antenna is pretty well aligned with being in alignment with the hex. So there we have that.